Hello, my beautiful Gemini's! Welcome to your weekly reading, weekly energies, general energies for all of you, whatever in the world you are. Also, this week we have two strong, beautiful events, kind of major, with the full moon in Sagittarius, the opposite sign of yours. So manifest big, manifest wild as well. Purge the same way and don't even look back. And that is happening on June 3rd. On June 5th, we have Venus that moves in Leo. Uh, different kind of approach, let's say that, regards our connections. Our love-wise connection, our work-wise, our money, and so on. As well, the Venus will stay in Leo till October. So quite a long time to trying to figure out certain things. But that being said, Geminis, let's go and see what we have for you, tarot-wise, for this week. All right. And of course, happy birthday for all of you who do celebrate or just notion. Three of Cups, Queen of Cups, Eight of Wands, and Nine of Pentacles, Two of Swords. All right, all right. Somebody here might contact you this week. Or you might contact them. For some of you, might connect here with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I feel here for some of you, you could close your heart towards this person. Or there was something here kind of like was no, no. For some of you, there was no communication with someone in particular. It seems here like a friend or someone that at one time you really care for. So I feel here, it's more likely them contacting you than you contacting them, but could be otherwise, flip the energies. But it seems here for some of you, this connection could be also on romantical, because I see here a friends with benefits energy still lingering. Yes, you're probably not in contact or you are not being in contact for quite a while, for a couple months. But it seems here that this person wants to get back. Let's see, loves. Two of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Yeah, I feel here for some of you something was a big no-no regards this person. Because it seems here you are manifesting something new or something else. The only major arcana we have the magician. And I like the magician with the nine of wands. It's just like I'm pretty confident what I'm looking for. What I'm asking the universe. But certain things here are not quite. That's it, loves. Why this three of swords is here? Here, the Emperor. Somebody here might be committed with someone else. Lovers. Yeah, somebody here could choose someone else over you. Absolutely. And it seems here that they could offer certain things, but not quite much. The Two of Pentacles. Why is a back and forth energy? Knight of Swords, Four of Swords. I feel here you are taking your time. You definitely are taking your time. Should you talk with them? I don't know. Should I answer to them? I don't know. But I feel here you are still thinking of them. But also you are thinking it's just like supposed to be done and over why they come now let's see here why 
this eight of wands, why they are contacting you, why they try to open up communication, why this eight of wands is here. Ten of swords, they know that they hurt you. Oof, too many swords. One more card. Also, this person could be hurt at the same time. Let's see, one more card. Ace of Pentacles. They might telling you I start a new life or I want to start something new. Also, there is someone here might tell you I choose the wrong person. Hermit. It's kind of like I supposed to look you know, closer to the things or deeper. Four of Cups, because whatever I've done was not okay. So it's kind of they want you back. How about you? It's like for some of you, you might think, are they telling the truth or not? Are they truthful or not? Let's see here. Will you believe them or would you trust them what they are? Okay, Ten of Wands, Nine of Wands, King of Swords, and the Moon. I feel here you, you want to believe them, but you don't. There's too many things are not adding up. A lot of things here are still in the dark. And for that reason, you feel in more of a resistant mode than in a, okay, let's do it, or hey, let's see you, or things like that. What's next? What's next for you afterwards? Eight of Swords. of pentacles six of wands knight of cups and two of wands so it seems here that this person is making an active decision and they coming here with their cup or they coming here to to be around you or be with you or they definitely want to be with you or start anew or from scratch with you will you 10 of pentacles justice I feel here you need some kind of proof because it seems here that so certain things here have been delayed, either a divorce statement, either a separation, either certain things here money-wise were delayed. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody here lost a lot of things or they will lose a lot of things based on on certain uh, actions or in you know, regards to separation. Five of Cups. Yes, somebody here lost, could lose the house, could lose the privilege, could lose a lot of things. Somebody here could took everything from someone, left someone very, very much broken. It's like I'm, I'm hearing somebody here left someone even with just whatever they wear. So it's just kind of like from a lavish life or a very, very good life, very, you know, rich, wealthy life to a very poor life. Yeah. 
but somebody here felt really miserable. There's a very, very harsh lesson. Somebody got it. How about you? What's the advice we have for my Gemini's? We have a page of cups. Somebody here asked for forgiveness. They are very sorry. So definitely here, this person won a second chance. With the page of cups and high priestess, deep down they do want forgiveness. And deep down they do love you. Yes. Have passion for you. They want a new beginning. Yeah. And they see you as the one. They want another chance. World. They definitely want another chance. They see you as their life partner. As they are their one person. Whomever is this person, they definitely see you. Let's see one more card next to the King of Cups. Yeah. I feel here for some of you, you are a little resistant on this to put in effort or not because there's a lot of things that you might not 100% sure. So, speak your truth, get more information, and definitely see what works for you. Definitely see what works for you. Do you want them or not? For some of you, this were, could be your ex that wants you back. For others of you, could be your lover or someone who does love you. But it seems here they definitely want to be with you. All right, let's see. But also I see someone here quite with authority. Somebody here is just feeling like, you know, I don't depend on anyone, but neither I trust that you be doing the right thing or you are willing to do the right thing. The advice from the oracles we have protected by angels discovering that truth and a breakthrough is at hand. For some of you definitely here, someone will tell you certain things about their life or whatever they've been through. And you know pretty much what's going on, but probably you don't know the whole thing. But it seems here also there are certain things are coming to you and it's like I knew they will come but I didn't really know when. You know, there is a saying, everything in, in its own time. So for you, Gemini, it's a week fulfilled with quite a lot of events. One step at a time, my darlings. One step at a time. For some of you, you might get a little overwhelmed regard certain things that what that's are happening this week. That's why pretty much take your time. Whatever you are manifesting, whatever you want to go towards, so be it. You are in the driver's seat, my darlings. And that being said, loves, thank you very much for watching. I hope this connects with you. If does, let us know. Comment below. Give it a like, subscribe, share it. And of course, if you want to know more about us or get in touch with us, everything is in the description box. Blessings, loves. Namaste.